Let me start off first by saying happy Thanksgiving to each and every one of you. What is up you guys? My name is Kira if you are new and I am back today to share with you another shop with me and Dollar Tree haul. Let me start off first by saying happy Thanksgiving. I am putting this video out on Thanksgiving itself so if you are watching this on Thursday and it is Thanksgiving I truly want to wish every single one of you who celebrate a very happy Thanksgiving whether it's you by yourself or you're with friends or family I hope both your bellies and your hearts are happy and full. Now, like I said, today is also a shop with me and a haul. I've been sharing every two weeks a Dollar Tree shop with me and then sit down and sharing a haul. I don't go this often, but I do during the holiday season because I'm always kind of on the hunt for th magical things for Christmas, for elves and stockings and all sorts of fun things. Mason's birthday is December 10th, so so our next time shop with me in haul is going to be more focused on the things for his birthday because this kind of finished off a lot of the little things that I needed left for our Christmas magic. So that's what I'm excited to share with you guys today and then I'm also super excited because today's video is in collab. Now if you're not new then when I say that I'm collabing with Vanessa over at Lemonade Mom then you won't be shocked because you guys know that we are very very close close. We are the best of friends. We live just 20 or 30 minutes away from each other in the local San Antonio area and so we get together quite often and we love to shop together especially the Dollar Tree. So we actually did this trip together. You're gonna see her a lot in the shop with me portion because she was with me when we were filming the big store. I wanted her to be with me and be part of this collab to share this Dollar Tree because her and I stumbled upon this Dollar Tree tree together and in like a 30 40 minute radius at least this big large city of San Antonio this is the largest Dollar Tree now I have shopped and I've brought Vanessa with me to shop the very largest Dollar Tree in the country I'll link that video up above if you guys want to go ahead and check it out it's one of my number one videos ever because I we got to go to Burlington North Carolina and go to the very largest Dollar Tree like there's a sign outside that says this is the largest DT and I'm going to tell you guys this store is like only a hair smaller so this is pretty much one of the largest DTs I've ever seen so I'm excited to kind of share with you guys what it looks like it was so lamb packed in there so I did the best that I could to film but Vanessa has a great haul to share with you she always puts out a great Dollar Tree haul so she has that to share and I have one too so I'm gonna leave all of these information down below her channel is a lemonade mom if you guys don't like I said already know but I will leave all of her information information go over check her out send her some love let her know that I sent you a little unicorn emoji but between her and I both we have a lot of great ideas that can kind of help if you guys are still stuck in looking for stocking stuffers or Christmas magic things like elves and stuff like that so let's go ahead and roll into that shop with me footage and then we'll sit down and we'll get into all the goodies that I got at the largest Dollar Tree in San Antonio all right you guys there she is the big giant dollar tree now just remember like i said this store was slam packed so right away as soon as we went in we realized boom no carts that was probably the first time i have ever been inside of this giant dollar tree where they had no carts and you'll see as we're walking through there are boxes everywhere you guys but the first thing that caught my eye were these nutcrackers they were five dollars i know vanessa got two of them to display out on her piano but they had so many different types they had the ones with the little santa hats they had the snowmen and then they had like these ones over here that looked like maybe ones from london they had the guy way in the back he had a top hat but then i kind of had a squirrel moment and i caught these because they light up they have the same little like pull tab kind of thing and I thought how cute those could have been if the kids could have painted them but that's that little like five dollar section but you'll see here that this is the only new sign I've seen was this little ho 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 one but this whole wall 
was empty with signs. That ho 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 was the only one that was hung up there pretty much and the only one that I hadn't seen. And then here you can see like this is just one palette after another. Like Vanessa and I were going through because a lot of the boxes were open. There was some like ribbon and stuff, but most of these were all the boxes for this sign wall that were just not unpacked. I know it's been really hard, you know, that to, for companies right now to get people who are employed and this Dollar Tree definitely needs help. You'll see that season of joy I did buy. And then here's Vanessa finding these little shadow boxes. I fell in love with them. I did buy those as well. So you guys will see them more detailed in the haul, but they have great containers, you guys. If you're gonna drop off cookies and stuff to your neighbors, they have these cute little wine holders or if you're going to send like treats to a teacher again I need to share with you guys like more pallets of boxes we almost couldn't navigate through some of these aisles because the boxes were so unpacked I mean this one said Halloween and it was on this pallet full of Christmas candy so I think that they just kind of grabbed that one from the back and didn't know that it was there but some of their whole aisles were full I talked about in this haul about how Dollar Tree is the best for Christmas cards if you're going to just do handwritten ones. I mean, their styles are endless and they're in sizes of 12 and 14. And then for those of you who are like teachers and stuff and you like to get jazzed up or just, you know, dressing up for the office, they had these cute little glitter ties with reindeers and Christmas trees and snowmen. I thought they were so cute. Of course, the big blinking necklaces that are like the Christmas bulbs. They had all these little plushies that talked. I mean, it were just done with the plushies in our house, but they had elves and snowmen and Santa. And then you guys, I have just been blown away by the stockings this year, like the stockings, the gift bags, like they're just, their choices are incredible. Some of them are like Dollar Tree quality, but some of them are just so cute. I love all the character ones this year, the Paw Patrol, the Blues Clues, the Batman, the Mickey Mouse, the PJ masks like they're all licensed and I just think that they are so sweet I love all the ones that change back and forth and then these were new I had not seen these they had this one that's all dressed up like a llama one that was like a unicorn I mean just so cute if you're looking for like a hole just to put the presents in that you want to give to somebody great gifts if you want to drop off to like a church or something this little car remote and keys for a kid they had a whole bunch of like slime and science experiments and just so many different things I feel like you could use to pull together gifts to give to donate you guys will see this a little bit more but I wanted to share with you the ones I didn't buy because I did buy sorry and guess who but they had battleship monopoly candyland and it's color forms they're a dollar you guys I just thought those were so super sweet to just throw in as like throw in gifts or if you're trying to pull something together that's more on the inexpensive side. I feel like if your budget is tight, Dollar Tree definitely has you covered for a lot of things. I mean, look at that floral wall, you guys. There's literally nothing there. It was so empty. I've never seen this store so packed, and I've never seen them look more pallets of just unpacked boxes everywhere. Looks like they had cute little like reindeer ornaments, and just like this whole pallet had all these different kinds of ornaments on there and like different decor pieces that were not broken out. I really was surprised. I've never seen the store in such shambles, but I mean, look at the size of the store, you guys. Like, it is just ginormous. They always have this Crayola end cap. They had like modeling clay and all of their crayons and markers down there at the bottom. That's where I found all of their silly scented sand. I usually find great Crayola things at the DT. And then I found these caboodles. I thought they were so cute. I'm not going to far into elaboration because these are things I picked up that you'll see more detailed into the haul but I thought those were really cute and they have like the end caps that they have on this craft aisle like this is the largest craft aisle I've ever seen in a Dollar Tree like that's vinyl for a Cricut machine you guys at the Dollar Tree which I think is insane now they had starting going into the craft aisle all these little like decor pieces like look this one says be happy and smile often pet 
cat sleeve paw prints on your heart, like these little family picture frames, one that says home, one that says love. Now, not all of these were like in the greatest shape. You can tell that they had been, you know, pushed around and stuff, but these are just great filler gifts or good for teachers. Home is wherever I'm with you. I thought that was sweet. I love the Wi-Fi password for you to hang up in your house to share, but these are what I love the most. They weren't, they were bigger than coasters, but like not big enough to hang on the wall. I couldn't think of what to do with them, but they were so beautiful, like textured, painted, heavy duty, like, like they felt like heavy coasters, but they weren't. They were meant to be like hung on the wall. They were just so exquisite. The colors, everything. And then now you actually go down this craft aisle. And like I said, it is the largest craft aisle I've ever seen in any of the Dollar Trees. Like it is loaded with everything, like wall to wall canvases and like all quality brushes. Pretty surprising, like good quality paint brushes and stuff to find at the DT. It's all the Crafters Square brand, but I happen to really like that brand. And then the paint, like endless amounts of paint. If you want to do like, if you want to make something, if you're definitely trying to stay low budget, but you want to give somebody something super personal, like all these wooden things, they would be so beautiful, like hand painted by you and then given as a gift. I think that would be so perfect. Like they even had these, these were new, like little like pen holders or something if you want to do that for somebody's desk. But I just feel like you could really get creative if you walked into, I mean, they even had like little pallets, like make makeshift wooden pallets and like those little wooden trays that you put in in the middle of the table, like all of those of the raw wood, these signs, everything, like there were just so many, the red truck, like you could really just go crazy and hand paint so many different things. This is my happy place, thankful, grateful, blessed, count your blessings, like all those are the ones that lit up. They have tons of these like galvanized metal things that you can write on and decorate all these like hand made wooden cars and red trucks. And like, this is where I got something you'll see. I got the unicorn and the dinosaur for Mason and Maya to paint, but you guys, here's just another quick overview of how big the store was. They have a giant snack zone, probably one of the largest snack zones of any of the stores I've ever been to. It's like three aisles, I think it is, three or four aisles of just wall to wall snacks of every kind. So those are great for stocking stuffers or present fillers. If you can go and grab someone's favorite candy or snack, cause they literally have it all. They have this cute little chillin' with my Nomi's dish towel and then all of your plastic and paper goods, like your tablecloths, all of the designs you can think of. They had the oven bags. If you want to put your turkey in the oven bag, they had the cutest loofahs. I had a loofah on my list for Maya's stocking. You'll see that in the hall, but they had rainbow ones and little ones with stuffed animals attached. They even had like those microfiber towels, like a turby twisty, all different style of nails. I was pretty blown away. I don't use them anymore, but they had lots of styles. And then here was another aisle solely of the $5 things. I've mentioned in past videos that I have to ask myself if I wasn't in the Dollar Tree, would I spend $5 on that in another store? And if I would, then I would purchase it from here. And like, look how pretty this one is. It says Joy and Noel. I got that Believe one in my last haul, but they had these canvas painting kits. They were pretty cute, but these ones were $3 because they're bigger than normal and they came with a ton of paint. But I normally don't like the Dollar Tree's paint inside of those kits. And so that wasn't one that I thought I would pick up. But I mean, they even had pillows, like pretty decent squishy size pillow. So if you have family coming in from out of town during the holidays and you want to grab like a couple of extra things and money's tight, if your Dollar Tree has a $5 section, like maybe that would be a place for you to go. They had some of these beautiful boxes. Like I think these are really nice. Again, they're $5, but that's a, it's something somebody could reuse as well as it being a gift. I loved these pretty lanterns. I actually think Vanessa picked up one and that would be in her Thank you. 
haul but they had these boxes too this one just had christmas trees on it but i think those are super sweet if you don't want to wrap but you want to put something together some people do christmas eve boxes where they do like hot cocoa and pajamas and stuff that would be a really good box for that and then all of these games you guys disney family feud and like all sorts of like just jewelry kits and things like that again if you're going to a birthday party or again if you're budget is just tight and you're looking to get your kids a bunch of things but not spend an incredible amount of money these five dollar sections have a lot of great things that you could give your kids that will make you feel like you're still giving them wonderful presents like even look at these like these are very sweet things all these things are in the five dollar section like they had gingerbread kits and stuff but we're coming over to these things which i love these are the kind of things you plug in like wax warmers focus on the good choose to be kind thankful grateful blessed like those are so sweet for a teacher five bucks some wax warmers and that little thing that's a great teacher gift they had swell bottles and then look at these five dollars you guys an led light strip they had the gaming mouse they have a gaming keyboard. They have all these little like light up things, headphones, all $5. I mean, are they going to be like Apple product quality? Of course not. But I think that's a really nice gift to still go to a birthday party or an event where you have to bring a gift that your kid gets something from Santa that you only spend $5 on. I don't know. I feel like those $5 sections really could be worth it. But that is it, you guys, for this portion of the shop with me. Stay tuned in two weeks. I will be back to share with you guys another store. Otherwise, now let me share with you my my haul. So this is like I said, like a crazy week. It's Thanksgiving week and all of that. And so I did not separate anything. I just took out my bag. So I'm just going to kind of grab bags. It, things might not be a rhyme or reason or there might be extras somewhere else. I usually try to separate things and like keep it together. But unfortunately, we just gotta go with the flow today. So I hope you guys are ready. But all right, I wanna share this with you. I have not tried out the other one that I bought. It was for Oliver for his stocking. And then I think I'm gonna give this to Bruno and see if he could, you know, uh, figure it out. If Oliver really likes it, maybe I'll just give him both because he's more playful. Uh, but this is like one of those really fun things where you hide a treat and then they have to move these things that you hide the treat underneath there. And they have to learn how to like tap it and pick it up and whatever to get to the treat underneath. These are very popular on Chewy. I'm not sure what the quality is going to be from the Dollar Tree. The other one is like a paw print is the one that I got. Uh, and this one looks like a bone. So this one says dog and the other one said cat treat puzzle. But we, we we will see for a dollar I'm super curious I will vlog like you know in the vlogs that I do after Christmas since I'm gonna save these for stocking stuffers and stuff I'll let you guys know you know like a review on how that these go oh darn see this is gonna start happening there's another one of these that I got for Maya but I really want to do fun things with the kids over Christmas break uh, everything's gonna be done for me like we get out of school so early the they have a half a day on December 17th and then they don't go back until January 3rd so we have a lot of time and like wrapping's going to be done and stuff and so I just want to spend the day with my kids like I'm actually looking forward to being able to the only work I'm going to have to do is trying to keep up with vlogmas by putting out one video a day but but if we're sharing the fun that we're having, it's going to be pretty easy to just share that with you the next day, if that makes any sense. So I got a bunch of stuff for them to do, and I'm excited. Mason loves dinosaurs, and they had this little, like, shadow box thing. It's a little dinosaur, but I don't know if you can tell, but inside it has a little tea light. So I got one to make sure. Always you guys make sure that you have the ones with the tag little tab still in it so you know what the battery is still good but I figured he would want to paint this and then he could light it up and stick it in his room on his nightstand or something there's one for Maya too it's either a unicorn that I got her maybe or a uh what was it maybe they had a rainbow something like that um this is something else that I thought was really cool for the kids to do I'm not gonna like put in their stocking and stuff I'm just gonna pull them out like every day like 
we're going to do a bucket list. So maybe there'll be a couple of different sticks in there that say craft. And whenever they pull a craft stick, then I'll pull out one of these. So these are like stockings for them to color. They only call, come with a couple of markers, but we have tons of those. But I just thought it was something fun. This one says Christmas with my snowmies. Oh, with my gnomies. Christmas with my gnomies. And it has a bunch of gnomes and stuff on it. I thought that would be cute for Mason. And then this one just says cheers with the Christmas tree and the gingerbread man, but the Christmas tree kind of looks like a cookie, but Maya loves to bake. So I thought that one would be cute for her. Again, just something fun um, to do. I know I have a couple more of these somewhere floating in there, but the Dollar Tree is the best for Christmas cards. You guys, if you want to do a Christmas card exchange with me, I will send you guys back a Christmas card. I'm hoping that Vanessa and I can squeeze out taking each other's family pictures so I can do a photograph kind of Christmas card. I hope that that happens. But for a dollar, I just pick these up in case it doesn't because my P.O. box is in the description box. So I would love if you guys want to send me a Christmas card and we as a family will send one back to you. But I'm last year I did that and it was the first year that I was able to get every single person who sent me a card that I received back and so it's just a lot of fun I love to hear from you guys so I think that the Dollar Tree is great for Christmas cards these ones are just the whole thing is the same one but I loved the snowy backgrounds look how pretty that is it says Merry Christmas on the front and then it says warmly thinking of you and wishing you a Merry Christmas that's what it says on the inside so I got that one and then this one I thought was just beautiful with the Christmas tree and the fireplace like that's a typical Christmas morning to me and this says warmest thoughts and best wishes for a wonderful holiday so I grabbed those um again there's going to be more of these floating around but I got a whole bunch of these little itty bitty uh, cookies because Franklin is our elf and he mentioned to me that he wants to do a bake sale one day but he needs like elf size cookies so I told him if I was in the store I would help him out so I got a bunch of these like small cookies so that he can set up his bake sale and these are just the bite size and nutter butters and then I know that there's gonna be some more of these because I believe that there was five colors and I only see three in this bag but Crayola had their silly scent sand Maya is obsessed with sand. This girl could play with sand and Play-Doh every day. And although she makes a mess with it, she's just so creative. And I don't want to stunt that, you know, need to be creative. And so I'll just clean it up. But this is the banana scented. I don't know like how much it's actually going to smell like banana, but it's the yellow sand. And then I got this one supposed to smell orange. And it's the orange sand. So I'm just gonna stick all of these in her stocking. And this purple one is supposed to smell like grape. And like I said, I think there's a green and a red, but we'll keep an eye out for that. Uh, something else for Maya's stocking. I wanted to get her a loofah. She has been tearing through my body wash because she doesn't just like pour it in. She like pours it all over so I got her a little squeegee I thought this one was pretty they had cutesier ones but I think she'll just like the purple and the white so I got her that and then I caved I know that only Santa was supposed to be bringing her um, a play-doh but these were so cute they're actual play-doh brand and they come with like a little holder up top so can you see if the glare will let you this is a french fry holder and the cap is like a little mold for you to push it through and make french fries and it's gonna look like that how cute is that so i got her this one for her stocking and then i got her this one that is going to make ice cream like look how stinking cute that that is and there's the little ice cream cup and then you make it with the cap like and it has the different like colors on the inside to do it she is going to love that I did get a can of this snowy spray. It doesn't go very far, the one from the Dollar Tree, but I really only needed to just do a little bit of the corners of the downstairs window, but we have that big front window. Although, oh my goodness, if you guys are not following me on Instagram, you need to because you should see what Ruby did to my front blind. Something must have been on my front lawn while we were not home, and she did it a little bit last week, and then this past week she just 
she killed them so now I have to buy new blinds but anyway that was a complete squirrel moment that area where the front blinds are where we built that little shoe um, compartment Franklin is going to show up and do something fun with snowballs I shared that in a haul maybe like two times ago that I got the snowball cotton candy so Franklin's gonna show up with all different snow things some that they can eat and some that they can't eat so I needed some of the snow spray for the windows so I got that and then oh my goodness you guys these are so cool and they are actual color form brands and they had a bunch you guys saw them in that little like shop with me clip that I shared I only got like that they had Candyland and Monopoly and stuff but I thought these would be co cool for the kids for the car maybe because like Maya will come with me when Mason goes to karate and stuff and then we'll sit in the car for an hour and then Mason will come with me when I bring Maya to dance and we'll sit in the car for an hour so if I'm not working maybe it would be fun for them you know or us to like play a game and so these are actual color forms which if you don't know what a color form is it's like a little reusable sticker and like there's a background and you can stick the sticker on it and it'll come off and it'll stick to it again so i got the kids a sorry i think i'm gonna give the sorry to maya and then i think i'm gonna give the guess who to mason like how cool is that i think these are so cute especially if you want to like donate to kids in school or if you like want to just drop a bunch of stuff off to your church or something like that and like you want to be able to send in a bunch of different things these are really cool gifts this is a dollar you guys and i think this is so sweet so i'm excited to just kind of pull those out um for the kids oh okay here is a maya's it was a unicorn look how stinking sweet that is i think it's so cute in her little light it's on the inside and again I made sure mine still had a tab so again keep your eye out for that and then I did oh here's more sand or at least one of them here's one of them this is the strawberry which is the red one so I think we're still missing one more uh, jumping over to a food item they had this delicious dill dip mix Vanessa actually spotted it first and she was like oh I love dill and I was like ha huh, I love dill too and for a dollar I thought a dill dip sounded really good so I think I'm gonna use that for like a veggie tray during either Christmas or Thanksgiving I might actually be using it right now as you guys are seeing it and if I did you'll see it in a future vlog because I am vlogging on Thanksgiving so you guys will see that um all right I did get some like of these kinds of things and I don't know yet if I'm going to do like Franklin or if I'm going to use these for my Christmas themed lunches but my kids just enjoy the themed lunches so much and I like to do something creative each day and it's going to be hard to do it because it's so far away from Christmas. I'm going to have that whole week before Christmas when I actually should have been making Christmas lunches. They'll be home. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do this in the ones I share with you guys or the ones that I'm just going to do for them during that week at their home. But I did get the Tasty Cake Snowballs. You can see just the package makes them look like a snowball. Original snowballs are pink. At least I think that they are because I used to do love snowballs when I was a kid. Actually recreated snowballs like a pinterest recipe where i made snowballs at home i'll link it for you but it was a really really fun to make these it was just brownies like i didn't make the actual balls but it was a complete replica and it was so good but this is just fun the package makes it look like a snowman so i thought that would be cool we are doing a couple of like play on words with snowballs and stuff so i didn't know if that was going to come into play for that same thing with this like the packaging is what makes this cute but i would never give my little kids or whatever a whole pack of donuts in their lunch but look how sweet these little donut packages are i just thought they were so cute that is so festive you guys like my kids would get such a kick out of that and so this is crunch mini donuts so i really think mason would like these ones and then these are the frosted which is the chocolate and that's the reindeer on it which i think jake would like the chocolate and i know maya would want the powdered sugar ones so and that has santa on it but i just thought those were so cute for whatever it is that i choose to do with them um 
I think there's another pack of these floating around too because I think I got two of each and I see two of these but not two of these. Um, mentioned that Jake has really been encompassing art. He's taking an, a class, a couple of classes for some like electives in the semester and he's been enjoying it and coming home with some of the most incredible artwork and it's fun to see him enjoying something and coming home and sharing it and us being so excited because it's one thing as a parent to say like wow you did a really good job but just being supportive it's another thing to say to your kid like wow that's incredible and like wholeheartedly mean it because it's outstanding like he he's really been impressing me so he just asked for some colored pencils we all kind of got him artsy stuff for Christmas but that's still a little ways away so I got him some to use now and then some extras for his, his stocking but he's definitely hooked up in the art department for this year so I got him some of these neon colored pencils some for now and some for his stocking and then I got him these double-sided pencils. So it has some primary colors there and then some more muted colors there. And again, I got him one for now and there's another one floating around somewhere for his stocking. Oh, here it is. Pulled it out. It was the very next thing. So there's the two, one for now and one for his stocking. And then here is another thing of Christmas cards. You know I had to get a red truck one. You guys, look how exquisitely gorgeous that is. Just a whole box of the red truck. They all have 12 in there. And this is wishing you a holiday still season. Whoa. Wishing you a holiday season filled with joyous moments. So, so cute. Love the Christmas cards from here. Um, the last haul, I only got two boxes of candy. I wanted one more because I have three kids. And I still hadn't gotten something. But then I found Frosty the Snowman gummies in blue raspberry, strawberry, and green apple. So these ones are going to go to Mason for sure. Actually, I think, no, the nerds are going to go to Mason. Maybe this will go to Maya. Oh, I'm so confused. I don't know. My kids are so weird with their candy. I always forget who likes what. Uh, I got one of these another time, but it was white and it's so beautiful just sitting up downstairs already with my decor. So I got this one this time. It says season of joy and I love the black with the little mason jar and the twine and I am all about poinsettia. That's probably like my favorite look. I love like pine and like flocked pine and then like poinsettia with little high parican berries and um holly and all of that that like green white red like this like what i'm about to show you next this is ideal for me look how apps these two things look at these you guys come on how are they not so beautiful this is decor from the dollar tree it is beautiful. I absolutely love them. They had a bunch of different styles. I shared them with you in the shop with me, but this one just says believe, and that's just the look right there. I love the um, the pine with the little holly berries and stuff. That look is so pretty. I love the shadow box feel. There's no way to hang it. It's just a sit down but I love that one and then this one says peace and again the look at the holly with the poinsettia and stuff it's just so I just love all of these it is so worth the dollar to me is some of those things have just blown my mind um just one small can of sweet potatoes I'm the only one who likes like sweet potatoes candied or yams or anything like that like it, that's pretty much just me here so one can and I'll just make a little tiny dish and I'll pick on it for a couple of days I found a can of Campbell's cream of mushroom soup I know that I probably could have gotten this cheaper in Walmart but I forgot and I didn't want to go into Walmart for just like a few things if I could get it where I was. So I just got this. I need it for the green bean casserole. That's another thing that it'll probably be just me eating. But whatever. Um, oh, here's our little Oreos. That's another cookie for Franklin's bake sale. And then, all right, so I shared with these, shared this with you guys last time about the candies that the Dollar Tree sells that are really perfect for like teacher filling baskets and stuff. So I got another five. Last time I got the Andes peppermint bark that you like snap. And then this one is just plain old Lindor 
but I mean, there's nothing plain and old about Lindor. And which one is this? Just milk chocolate truffle, but I got five of them because we're gonna make like little bags for our servicemen, the mailmen, the garbage men, recyclable collectors, the kids' teachers and stuff. And so everybody will get one like kind of candy and treat and stuff. And we wanna make sure everything's individually wrapped. So got those. And then let me see what else is in here. Oh more sand of course more sand uh here's the green one it's a green apple so that's what that looks like and then i found a different kind of sand this was called cosmic sand moldable squeezable fun and i got one in a red and one in green so nice and festive and stuff maybe it's something frank will bring for them to do or maybe i'll just put those ones in my stocking and i'll save these as like a when we pull a bucket list thing like let's do something wild and crazy and play with sands because to them that would be wild and crazy because mom stink and hate sand uh if you guys see this you know it's for jake it is a little debbie but it's a cookies and cream brownie hello he is going to absolutely love that so i got that for him and then i got two bags of these these are the snack factory pretzel crisps but these are the everything flavor which are really hard for me to find especially in these little tiny bags so i got one for me and one for maya's stocking so i'll give this to daryl and he'll go ahead and tuck that away for me all right i am so excited to share this with you guys hold on let me get the other one oh all the way over here okay so the dollar tree had pool noodles and at first i'm like why does the Dollar Tree have pool noodles? Like, I know it's Texas, and so maybe they think, like, we can still swim during this time. I mean, yes, there, I mean, we have days, like, today it was 72 degrees. So, I do understand, like, maybe we have some days where we could, but, like, pool noodles. But then the only colors that they had were red, white, and green. So, honestly, I'm going to tell you that I really believe that the Dollar Tree, like, was thinking elf and stuff that's just me because right away that's what i thought of so i have these long pools noodles well i can't even talk <laughs> uh, i'm gonna glue the red white and green pool noodle together and this is going to be what our elf enters in he always has some kind of grand entrance i don't know what his deal is he's extremely extra and he always has to do something extravagant and so he has like a blow up sled and i think he's going to be sledding down this red white and green giant slide that comes down our staircase to welcome himself back so i am super excited to see how this elf puts all this stuff together like i said he he's extremely high maintenance and he always has like these outlandish ideas so we shall see how he pulls all that together just one thing of bagels i think we still have a few but i always like to keep some of these on hand these are the ellie's everything bagels there's only four in here for a dollar but i gotta be honest with you 25 cents a bagel back in new york they're well over a dollar a bagel at this point so i will take uh three dollars a dozen over 13 dollars a dozen like any day of the week so went ahead and grabbed some of those um, I did grab this gift bag. It is a set of two, but what caught my eye was this one just because it has like the elf legs and feet and it says jingle all the way on it, but it even has like a little elf hat here. Not exactly like Franklin looking, but still you can tell that that's an elf. But Mason's birthday, like I mentioned, is December 10th. And even though our elf is high maintenance, he's also super kind. So he always makes sure to bring Mason some kind of gift on his birthday. And I thought maybe I would leave Franklin this gift bag to put um, a Mason's birthday gifts in. This way it's kind of elf related. And then the other one just said, Santa must really like you, which is super cute. And I will use that at some point for something. Uh, I did pick up a ton of these cookie boxes. I think I still have more left, but I'm not like through opening all of my Christmas stuff. So I don't know yet what I have. They had a ton, so I don't think they're going to run out. But 
also for Mason's birthday, he wants to do a cookie decorating like station. And I thought instead of doing like goodie bags of crap, I'm just going to do a pinata with candy so that they can take home the candy that they get from the pinata. And I'm going to do a cookie decorating station and then a ornament decorating station. And they're like, goodie bag is for them to take away the candy, the ornament, the um, a cookie that they decorate. So I had little cookie boxes because I thought this would be perfect. They can lay their ornament on one side and their cookies that they made on the other. And then instead of a favor box, they can take like a cookie box. And I love these. I think they're all super, super cute. I have so many different designs. They, and like I said, I think I still have some. So we'll see. But this is two square boxes and this one's plaid with all the different ornaments on it but mason is all about always having like a christmas themed party so he loves everything christmas he wants everything to be christmasy so that is the like poinsettia one like look at the back it even comes with stickers to seal it like that it's just so beautiful um then this one like maybe i'll go back and get more of these these are rectangle ones but they have like a lot of different cookies and gingerbread men and stuff like that on them like I think that is so super cute and then this is a different kind of poinsettia one just more like solid and then this one I think is so like manly looking like you can use something like this if you want to give like the guys at work or whatever cookies or something has the Christmas trees oh it has a little red truck in this corner I didn't even notice that I just thought it was the Super cute. I don't know. I'm addicted to those boxes. I love them so, so much. Um, I also got these little notebooks for our elf because he usually after he enters the first day after he gets here, he asks for the kids to send in their list to Santa so they can start working on their presents. So I got each of the kids some uh, like a notebook with a pen for them to write their notes to Santa on. So uh, I got the little pink cat with the pen for Maya and then the little dog and it says ho 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 and the hat for Mason. And then speaking of dogs and stuff uh, and pets, I thought these were so cute. They're like these little hangy signs with twine and this says meow and you put your cat's picture in it and it has little whiskers and stuff around it. I think that is so adorable and sweet. So it, I don't know if you guys can see. I'm sure you can because he's been up and down the whole time. He's obnoxious. Where is he? Oh, he's yeah, he's right there. You can see him. Um, he always has to be right where I am, but I'm going to take a picture of him. Well, take a picture. I have like a million, but I'm going to print one and I'll just put it in this little thing and hang it above his cat tree. And then I got one for Bruno and one for Ruby and I'm going to take their picture and I'm going to hang it like above where their bowls are or whatever. I thought that would be super cute for a dollar. I thought those were adorable. Um, I shared this with you guys in the shop with me, but how cute is this little caboodle looking thing? I love that. It's going to be great for Maya with, you know, any kind of like makeup and like lip glosses and stuff like that that she has. I love that. Again, like we're talking Dollar Tree Greenbrier for a dollar. Love that. So cool. Uh, another bag of small bite size uh, cookies for our Elf's Bake Sale. Here is another one of those sand. I guess I had six. This one's blueberry. Oh my goodness. Maya's gonna have sand for these. Uh, I saw these too. These were fine point Sharpies, seven of them. It said it was a $5 bonus originally and I only paid the dollar for it, but I thought these were pretty good for Jake. I just got him like a huge 40 pack from Costco and I paid $14 for the 40 pack, but I still think this is great. The seven for a dollar and it has all the different colors in it. So he can use that for some of the artist work that he's been doing. I did get this little Elfie guy. He still has his little tab in him. So he lights up and now that we're home, I'll pull it so I can show you cause I'm gonna leave it off. But this is just gonna be for their breakfast. You can see that it'll change color, but he will bring them a little elf breakfast. So this is just going to be setting out on the table when he shows up with their little elf breakfast. So I thought that was cute 
for a dollar. All right, you guys, we're dwindling down. We're almost done. I'm down to like my last two bags. Um, all right, so I saw these, a whole box of Pop-Tart brand uh, bites, the little mini bites. It's the frosted brown sugar and cinnamon. So hopefully they enjoy those. And then, let's see. Oh yeah, here's another batch of cookies for his bake sale. It's the little candy and cookies with the little M&Ms in there. So he'll have Oreos, Nutter Butters, the little Chips Ahoy, these little M&Ms. And then lastly, he'll have these. I saw a box of two fruit snacks and two little fudge stripes. So I'll throw the fruit snacks like in the kids like stocking or something. And I'll use the fudge stripe cookies for our little bake sale. But I think that the kids are really going to enjoy that. Uh, I needed some parsley and I just saw the parsley flakes there so I went ahead and grabbed that. I keep forgetting to grab it when I go to Trader Joe's and Trader Joe's has my favorite spices and I keep forgetting when I go there. And I'm not going for quite some time. At least Oliver, my goodness. He always has to be the star of the show, this cat. Uh, I've gotten this queso before. It's like okay, but I need a queso in a bind. And I told you guys I'm trying not to go into Walmart for just a few things. So I just grabbed that. Hopefully that works for me. And then I grabbed a bunch of these for Mason. I think I'm going to use some for a bucket list and some for his stocking. Or maybe I'll use all. I don't know. But they had a lot of these like what cat what are you doing you are crazy did you eat catnip or something oh my goodness uh there's all these like little different kits and each one of them was just so cool i was very surprised so we'll see how they work they're all like nasa related so this one is prism putty and you make your own bouncy balls so you can make two bouncy balls out of that i thought that was pretty neat and then this one says make your own solar system and it's like comes with everything you need plus a fact sheet to make a solar system like how kind of cool is that this is dollar tree stuff you guys um oh is this dollar tree brand it is it says green briar um and then this is a lunar sand so of course mason had to get some sand of his own and then this one says to make your own planet bouncy balls so all these together i just think are so cool it'll either just be fun stuff for us to do or again you know stocking stuffers or i can put it in his stocking because then we can still use it that week after so um either way we'll definitely get our use out of it i did go ahead and grab the kids two lip balms so i have a big lot haul that I went, we went to Big Lots after we went to Dollar Tree. I think I told you guys this already, but you're not going to see it for a little while. But, or maybe I didn't tell you. Did I tell you? I don't know. This has been a while already that we're filming this. So I don't even remember what I told you in the beginning. But yeah, we went to Dollar Tree and Big Lots. And that you'll see, I'm not even sure when, maybe in a couple of days, maybe a week. I don't know. But the last time I went there, I got little Mickey and Minnie lip balms for their stocking or for Franklin. I don't even remember. Um, but the little box at a dollar and it rang up for three dollars and i was surprised and you guys had said like oh well it's disney stuff but we went back again and there's there's a whole new box there and it still says a dollar on the box and i'm so i'm so confused um but these were a dollar and they're actual elf on the shelf and i wanted the name brand one so i'm going to use those mickey and minnie ones for their stocking and this is the one that the elf is going to bring so i have those oh what now you're going to play with paper bags you just you just can't resist having to have everyone talk about you, right? Always in the background? Yeah, okay. Um, and then these, they are not Dollar Tree brand. They are Spa Scents. And it says they are new vent clips. And it's a two-pack. And so I got a bunch of these for Daryl because he's been really liking the Vibreze ones that I have. And so I wanted to get him these. Um, I got him the... He said that these ones, like absorb really fast but now the weather is cooling down so maybe he can save the ones i got him before for like the warmer months and use these in the cooler months because these looked really really cool so this one is fresh mist and they even look manly to me and then this one is a cleanse oh it has a scratchy sniff i love that Ooh, oh it smells like men's soap 
that's not bad. I don't know if I would want it to be powerful though, but I'm weird. I like like foody kind of scents, not things like this, but he does. This is the cleansing sauna. That one's a lot better. Like I like that one a lot. That smells more like men's shampoo. Like, yeah, sauna-ish. Like, I agree with that. The mist, that's a little much for me. But, I mean, it wasn't bad, but... Oh, this one. This one's really good. This is Hot Stone. Okay, so I'm just not a huge fan of the Fresh Mist because I think it's a little powerful. But the Cleansing Sauna smells great, and this smells great also. So, I'm just going to go ahead. Maybe I'll give the Mist one to Paul's because I don't go in his car, and I don't have to smell that, but I go in my husband's car. So, maybe I'll put the other two... And his, um, I found this little Minecraft cup. So this is going to be in the little gift package to Mason on his birthday. And then something else Jake asked for was a ruler to do straight lines for his like mosaic drawings. So I got this one and the center is magnifying. So I thought that would be good for like when he was trying to see better. Jake wears glasses, so I thought maybe that would help him see just a little better. And then, is this the last one, I think? <laughs> this is the last one. Come here, baby. Look what Mama got you. You gonna wear it? Oh, we're gonna make you wear it. I'm gonna put this on you for... Oh, yeah, I'm gonna make you wear it. Um, this is a little cat costume, and I've never dressed him up before, but I am so torturing him on, on with this because his gotcha day is Christmas Eve. We actually got Oliver as a Christmas gift for the little kids last year and he just grew himself attached to me and now he doesn't leave me alone. So now I'm his person, he's my cat. So like, sorry kids, but you're out of luck. Um, so I wanna dress him up on Christmas Eve because technically it's like, it's not his birthday. We did celebrate his birthday like on his actual birthday um, because he was a rescue cat, like a woman that Vanessa knew rescued a pregnant mama. So we knew exactly like when the kittens were being born in the day and all of that and so I was able to celebrate his actual real birthday but his gotcha day is Christmas Eve and so I want to dress him up in this little pet costume and it has a little elf hat which I think is the coolest thing and look is a little thing so I could put this around him okay he's so stinking wearing this and this little elf costume and I cannot wait and stay tuned again follow me on Instagram so that you can see all of the fun stuff like Oliver in a elf costume I can't even wait oh my god all right, you guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this little shop with me and sit down haul. If you did, make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. Now that you're done watching this, please make sure you go over and show Vanessa some love at Lemonade Mom and see what she got from the Dollar Tree. And I believe she's including her Big Lots haul in her Dollar Tree. So you'll be able to see what she got from big lots as well so thank you guys again so much for watching if you're coming over from Vanessa's channel thanks for hanging out with me this entire time I appreciate you guys so so much I hope you'll choose to stick around enjoy our YouTube family otherwise I hope you all had a fantastic Thanksgiving I love you so so much and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys